Hello everybody, Zojalix here, and I am going to be continuing the tutorial series for Return of the King Any Percent Easy uh, for the solo runner. Uh, and we're going to be continuing on with the Path of the Wizard segment. We're going to be going into the next level, Minas Tirith, Top of the Wall. And I will go ahead and jump right back into it when we finish through the cutscene. All right, we are now back with Minas here at the top of the wall. Um, so this is going to start off as a nice auto scroller. You'll see up in the top right corner, you have the uh, map for where the ladders are going to be spawning, as well as a um, a meter that tells you where each of the different as how my overrun the wall is it never one thing to note is the meter will never ever fully empty because the game for some reason will continue to keep spawning orcs you want to just keep it from filling up and so as you're going through this auto scroller just run around kill orcs you don't need to worry about not killing them uh if you've learned two tower first where you two towers first we you know that killing them is bad you don't need to worry about that in Return of the King. You just run and kill orcs and keep the meter as low as possible. As you can see, there aren't any ladders up, but yet the meter is still filling. And the nice part too is the ladders will be spawning in a set pattern. So as you can see, as I'm always beating the ladders to where they spawn, uh, you don't need to worry about like the ladder like you don't worry about the ladders spawning randomly because they spawn in the same pattern every single time and we're just gonna wait here for this next ladder to spawn uh one thing to know is i don't have a timer running to be able to track my location right away but uh, which i should have had a timer running for when i started the level just so that way i could tell but I always split before starting this level um, when the loading screen starts after selecting Gandalf. And so, um, and the reason I do that is because when that hits 5 minutes and 15 seconds, you'll know that the auto scroller portion of the level has ended. So, when that happens, is you'll know that that has happened when the Siege Tower is spawned. And usually around the 515 mark, you're going to want to be right up here. Which, I think I'm hitting him around that spot? I don't actually know. We're getting close to it. Like that. So now the auto-scroller portion has ended. Um, so, these siege towers are spawning. And when these siege towers spawn, you actually are going to want to immediately start mashing Z, so that way you can start destroying this first catapult. I've tested the other strats that other runners have used, and this one is fastest. Because now it's two flings. While that siege tower is getting destroyed, you can start heading out to the next. Uh... Oh boy. Okay, we didn't kill as many as I wanted. Okay, you can start heading out to the next tower. You guys are gonna knock me out of my bubble. That's fine. So, now you're already over here. And you can s literally start shooting at the tower. Oh, don't. You don't want to shoot the Nazgul. 
We're gonna shoot it three times. And then spam. That gets rid of it pretty quickly. And then you're gonna run back over to the catapult. Then just immediately start your fire. So that way this animation will happen. And you can get it out of the way. And then they're gonna aim the catapult. You kinda this one kinda is like awkward and you have to wait a while. Then here this guy's gonna be taken out. But you can still fire even when there's not a guy replaced there. And that destroys the last thing. This siege tower is supposed to spawn. This one you want to be there. And a weird thing about it is it drains the meter. And when you're going to get rid of it, just stand right here. Well, a little bit forward because you don't want to have it shoot the wall. And then just mash your charge attack, your uh, fast attacks. It's about four of them. And then this little cutscene will play, allowing you to then head to the end of the level. And then you're just going to run down here. And you know you're really fast at this when you're able to beat every single Gondorian soldier. But that's really hard to do because sometimes the camera just is like, nah. And you just come right here into this cutscene. Where all your soldiers get wrecked by Grand. And Gandalf just stands there with his shield like a swag man. And that's the end of Minas Tirith Top of the Wall. Uh, hopefully you will be able to have hit level 5. Uh, if you haven't hit level 5, that's going to be really rough because you need level 5. Level 5 is super nice to have for um, Courtyard, but it is absolutely necessary for Black Gate. Which, I'm not going to worry about Blackgate for a while because we still have a lot of levels before we actually get to Blackgate. So you've hit level 5. If you bought Fellowship Strength of Stone and for some reason still don't feel safe, you can buy Strength of Iron here. Again, I don't really recommend it just because it's just a couple of seconds you don't need to worry about. Um, and then, But you want, you need Light of the Forges. That's going to light your enemies on fire. And you need it. It just, it's super, super necessary. And that is all you need from that upgrading. And then you can start on Minas Tirith Courtyard. So thank you guys for watching the um, Minas Tirith Top of the Wall. And in the next level, we're going to go into Minas Tirith Courtyard.